Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, 48 years ago to today, Lyndon Johnson in Independence, Missouri, signed into law the Medicare program in the presence of former President Harry S. Truman. It's important when you think about that event, which I would argue transformed our, our country, uh, to go back in time and remember that seniors in 1965 uh, only half had health insurance of any sort. 30% of America's seniors lived in poverty. Life expectancy for America's seniors was age 70. If you fast forward today, 48 years later, we have universal health insurance coverage for all seniors. Life expectancy is now age 79, and only 7% of seniors uh, live below the poverty line. The um, decision by Congress uh, Earlier that year, it was April of 1965, when, uh, former, when uh, our colleague, Congressman uh, John Dingell, was sitting in the Speaker's chair and brought the gavel down uh, when the Medicare uh, law was passed, uh, has, again, paid off huge dividends in terms of transforming America health, America's health care system. Uh, back then, Medicare only covered doctor's visits and hospital visits. Today, it covers a broad range of services for seniors, uh, dialysis, uh, medical equipment, outpatient services such as prescription drug coverage, uh, and as a result, the healthcare sector of our country has grown, and uh, for many, it has created literally careers and opportunities to pursue uh, a system which, again, has uh, produced great results uh, for uh, the folks who live uh, in our country over age 65 and people on disability. Now, today, um, you know, we, we have challenges that Medicare faces, but there is good news. The trustees for Medicare recently issued their annual report, and it showed that the solvency of the Medicare Trust Fund uh, this year was extended out an additional two years to 2026. And beyond that date, Medicare does not go bankrupt zero. Uh, it, there is a shortfall in terms of the projections by the trustees of roughly about 10%. Uh, a serious problem, but one that we can manage using smart changes to the system. And the trustees in their reports pointed to the Affordable Care Act uh, as uh, when it was signed into law by President Obama in 2010 as extending by nine years the solvency uh, of the Medicare system. For seniors under the Affordable Care Act, they're now getting more help with prescription drug assistance. Uh, they were stranded in the donut hole prior to 2010. Now they get over half uh, of the cost of those prescription drugs while they're in the donut hole discounted. Uh, they are also getting free uh, preventive care services, whether it's colonoscopies, annual checkups, smoking cessation programs. All of those uh, uh, essential services uh, for primary care are now uh, out, carry no out-of-pocket cost because of the Affordable Care Act. Uh, the fact is, is that uh, those changes have extended the solvency of the Affordable Care Act, and we have not cut benefits for seniors. We have not made uh, unwise choices, such as the Ryan budget, which proposed raising the eligibility age for seniors uh, to qualify uh, for Medicare to age 67, and would butcher the program into private health insurance for people under age 55. In other words, turning the clock back to where we were uh, 48 years ago when President Johnson signed that measure into law. The best way to celebrate Medicare's birthday, which again has uh, transformed the lives of every American family since it was enacted in 1965, is to make smart changes to the system, to build on the progress of the Affordable Care Act, uh, to make sure that uh, it's going to be there for our children and our grandchildren, just like uh, the people who had the wisdom to vote for that program 48 years ago and sign it into law, uh, again, with the vision and prophecy of Harry S. Truman, who uh, as a senator representing the state of New Missouri had proposed Medicare as a, as a law and then saw before his, uh, his time on earth ended it actually come into fruition. Uh, Medicare is a wonderful program. It is a program which uh, uh, every family uh, is touched by and has experienced and benefited from. Our best way to celebrate its, its birthday today is to redouble our efforts to extend its sovereignty and to make sure that all American families today and in the future are able to uh, enjoy its wonderful benefits. And with that, I yield back.